most of your triggers are going to be pretty mean. Um, you know, clown trigger. Um, this one's meaner. I use the Kimapure Elite and a Nuvo 16 and, you know, a couple teaspoons on each, in a bag on each side and change it out like once a month and it just keeps everything pure and clean, no phosphates, everything's good to go. Uh, it's pretty much a worry-free system because of the Kimapure. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast. As you can see, I'm in the Aquatic Lounge and this is at the Global Pet Expo in Orlando, Florida. Once a year, it is the biggest trade show for the pet industry in the United States and this is where everybody comes. All the aquarium companies and a lot of dog and cat. In fact, a lot more dog and cat than there are aquariums, but as far as I can see right now, I'm surrounded by people who make the aquarium industry tick in the United States and it's really exciting. Some beautiful fish tanks here and we'll be talking about them uh, in the coming weeks. But right now in the aquatic lounge I want to talk a little bit more about a fish that I thought was very interesting that I had never seen before. That fish is a pelagic trigger fish being shown by Sun Pet and this fish is gorgeous. It's got these bright white spots on either a gray or a black background and the fish has been changing the background but the spots stay. You see some fish that will change colors when they're stressed. Well in this particular fish the background changes color but the white spots stay there. So I talked to the folks at Sun Pet about this, about this amazing fish and here's what they had to say. Luckily we actually have one. They're kind of rare nowadays. Um, they range anywhere from you know a lot of the bigger population is going to be on the Atlantic side, ranging all the way from New York to Gulf of Mexico. Um, this one, I think, is from the Dominican Republic, just based on color and size. Um, okay. uh, how, uh, how aggressive a fish is that? Oh, uh, unbelievably aggressive. Um, as you can tell, he's by himself. Uh, he does not like others. I wouldn't put this fish in anything less than probably a 225 gallon it would have to be an extremely aggressive tank overall. So, you know, other triggers, you know, things that it cannot beat up. Equally as e equally aggressive fish. Most of your triggers are gonna be pretty mean. Um, you know, clown trigger, um, this one's meaner. That's how mean. For some reason, it seems like he goes between a light blue and a black, which is really interesting to watch. And it's, it's not, it doesn't look like stress. Um, due to the fact that it doesn't lose color around it on you know spots or around the around the spots, which is really interesting. Okay, well, one roughly about this size, uh, five to six inches. Um, retail common retail price could be anywhere from about four hundred twenty-five to about four seventy-five. Um, even you know, depending on some of the colorations, um, it could be a slight bit you know more expensive. Uh, running into the five hundred or six hundred dollar range uh, the bigger they get um, they are hard to get um, this is the first one i've seen in about five years um, they're extremely cool so there's a look at the pelagic trigger fish you obviously don't want to keep that with any other fish i said is it reef safe and they said no it's not even fish safe there's really nothing that you can keep with it except maybe very very aggressive other fish if somebody out there has kept it successfully please put it in the notes below uh and i'll i also within the, the description will put some more information about this fish uh but i would like to hear about it if somebody has successfully kept this fish uh, along with other fish in their aquarium thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next podcast.